Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yashala, kohalo yimla, yahawa bashim yawashai, bahashim kachachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you akim and akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of your ability. Zachna and the waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying. Um, and we was out at camp this past uh, Saturday, you know, during the Shabbat and, you know, talking about the dietary law and going off into this particular group of people right here, these damn Moabites, which um, they're bi the biblical name for the so-called Chinese people. And <laughs> they're not going to be doing this, man, in, in our kingdom, man. It says criminal gang arrested in China for luring 150 cats with protected sparrows to sell for the brutal cat meat trade. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, boy. It says 31 sparrows of protected species in China were retrieved at the scene along with seven cages crammed with 148 cats who had been captured by the thieves. Two kittens were born post-rescue. Um, it says the Jinan Zhuang Kui District Police Office also found the gang's fleet of mopeds fitted with cages for collecting cats and reported that the thieves caught curious local pet and community cats by placing the flapping and chirping sparrows inside a wire bag within a remote control trap. Although China has no animal protection laws with which to pro to prosecute the gang for cruelty to the cats. China's, Chinese law generally prohibits possession of protected sparrows. And given that two local Janine residents identified their stolen pets among the caged cats, the individuals who were arrested may also be charged with violating laws prohibiting property theft. <laughs> we have been tracking this gang of cat thieves and traders for a while and finally found the place they stored all the cats they stole from the streets. These poor animals were tightly crammed together in rusty cages, waiting to be shipped off to South China to be killed for meat, said Mr. Huang from Swine, whatever, Salakia, if I'm pronouncing all this wrong. It says, who was at the scene? It was shocking to see the state they were in, many of them emaciated and crying out. Our discovery of dozens of live sparrows used as bait to lure the cats was also a big shock, but shows the length these ruthless traders will go to. We are really grateful that the local police accompanied us on the rescue and detained the cat traders, although sadly the men responsible won't face charges for the suffering they caused the cats. We are pleased to see the police increasingly using other laws at their disposal to crack down on the cruel trade. The cats are now being killed. All right, anyway, you see what it is, man. You see? And this is why... <laughs> uh. We don't be eating at these places, man. Because I remember that back way before I came into the truth. You know, it used to be like, hey, you ever notice that you never see certain types of birds or certain types of cats, dogs or anything, you know? Now, throughout these neighborhoods, because there's plenty of cats throughout these neighborhoods, because they're just having sex, making little kittens and, you know, people be feeding them and stuff. But, man, we got a real cat problem in the neighborhood that I live in. You know what I'm saying? But you just never know. These, these, these <laughs> they'll throw up a little bit of little, little cat food down, be feeding them. You know what I'm saying? Have them coming right to the back of the, 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 the restaurant, grabbing them up, taking them in. <laughs> and you don't know what you, you eating on, man. You, you, you out here eating on meow. <laughs> and, 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 hey, but that's, this is the reason why we need our Lord, man, because this place is all out of order. We're going to have these nations in order, man. They're not going to be eating all kinds of abominable shit, man. And like I said, I went into this the other day, but let's go into the scriptures on this. Because the Lord gave us strict laws on, you know, dietary laws as far as um, animals like this, man. You're not supposed to eat any goddamn thing with no paws on it, man. That's disgusting, man. I also like you spelled that wrong. That law is in Leviticus eleven twenty seven, and whatsoever goeth upon his paws, among all manner of beasts that go on all fours, on all four, those are unclean to you. 
Whoso touches their car carcass shall be unclean until the evening. So you're not supposed to even mess with that. Let me see if there's some more on it. And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. They are unclean to you. Let me see. Yeah, I think that was pretty much about it. But there's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to eat um, animals, man, with paws. Man, you're not supposed to eat no goddamn dogs, no, no raccoons. You know, it's it's <laughs> you're not supposed to do it, man. But anyway, you're these people are 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 just vile, man. They they I mean, if you look at any of the YouTube channels and the shit that they be cooking up and eating, they'll eat any goddamn thing, man. This is a, Moab is the wash pot, man. You see what I'm saying? They're 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 basically like um they're basically like pigs, man. They're like 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 fucking hogs, man. Cause you know hogs they eat anything. That's why um we was talking about it. You know them them hey, them gangsters. A matter of fact, um, um Elder Malcolm went into it. The um, Elder from um, Chicago he went into it, and he was talking about how they'll turn on like a certain type of frequency on a, on on a, um or play um a CD or a tape or whatever of people you know kind of screaming or whatever. It, it gets those those hogs those pigs to salivating. You know like sl um like saliva. And they'll get to, you know, making that noise like they're ready to go at it. They're ready to eat. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and said to these gangsters, these mobsters, they will throw your ass over in there alive. And those and those hogs will, will fucking attack you, man, and eat, eat every damn thing on you. Eat your jeans, your shoes, your shirt, <laughs> your hat. <laughs> hey, that, hey that, that's a real filthy animal, man. But that's what these damn oil bites are like, man. They'll eat any damn thing, man. They ain't gonna have no problems, man, being goddamn um cannibals, man. They're not gonna have no problems eating um um people, man, when when the real famine goes down. And you know it's a it's billions of them over there too. <laughs> Come on, man. They're not gonna have a problem cutting somebody up, man, and throwing his ass over into some rice. So I would say, you know, use wisdom, man, about going to um these certain restaurants and stuff like that, man. I you want some goddamn Chinese food, man, cook your shit at home. You can make any of these meals that they're making <laughs> at your house these days. You can look at a YouTube video. They'll show you how to make any damn thing that's on their menu these days. And you can add your own personal touch to it because they don't care nothing about you, Jake, man. And, and they and they the, the most of their money come from Jake in the, in the hood, man. This is where where most of your Chinese food restaurants are hooked up at. You can't see in the back. You don't know what they're putting in your shit. You don't know what they spinning around in that wok. And see, they'll, they'll smash it and call it a delicacy. But they, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's just cheap. Could be them breeding goddamn cats. They, they got a place where they breeding cats and dogs and shit and, 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 and cutting the meat up. And I, I've seen video <laughs> where it's just disgusting, man, with skinked up dogs in the back of meat trucks, you know, meat freezer trucks and, and, and just disgusting, man. So don't I, hey, don't even shop with these people. Make that shit. It's best that you cook in all your food at home these days. Anyway, it's not making no sense to um be going to these restaurants and 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 it's crazy. I just seen a food truck last night. You know, I kind of seen it. I've been seeing it. You know, brand new. It's new, new little food truck in the hood or whatever. You know, they kind of got like chairs and tables set up out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like, all right, well, let me check this shit out. Let me see what they. Cause I've been passing it for weeks, so I'm like, you know what? Let me pull up on them and see what they got going on. I look at the damn menu, and it's pretty much just like Chinese food or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like rice, rice plates, rice bread. Cause you know, and 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 these motherfuckers want you to spend. I think the, the the damn plate was like forty bucks. I'm like, so if you was to come through there, trying to just you know, and, and it's who the fuck spends forty dollars on just some um some rice and a, and, and 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 some and a couple of. You know, some chicken chopped. I mean, you can do that shit at your house. I'm like, nah, you talking about grocery money. <laughs> like, for real, this grocery money. Just think you going through to get two of those particular plates. You out 80 bucks. I'm like, nah, cuz, what well, shit, you barely getting what you can get out of the supermarket for 40 these days. But damn shit, you can for damn sure get a bag of rice, get some um, some chicken breast, and, 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 and do that same particular meal. For just a few dollars, really. 
These motherfuckers, I'm looking like, is this, they serious? Off a food truck? We ain't even talking about no restaurant. This ain't even a restaurant that you going to sit down in, man. It don't come with no drink. It don't. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, you know, but it, it looks like Chinese food, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They got their little sauces and stuff like that. Because, you, know, you know, I'm looking at the menu. It looked like it might have been, you know, or the look of it, you know, it looks kind of appealing. But I'm, the, the prices, I'm like, hold on, a food truck? No, you, this ain't even sit down restaurant shit right here, man. I don't want to walk up on a food truck and spend a hundred dollars. Nah, cuz. Nah, nah, nah. But anyway, like I said again, I hey, a lot of these, 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 these restaurants that closed down, these Chinese food restaurants, I watched a bunch of them go under um during this pandemic two years, man. They went under because people wasn't trusting them. And, and not only them, it was, you know, you cause you you got um you know, like places like Benihana's, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, some, there's some Japanese um, restaurants. It's, um, you know, you got your, your Korean, anything that had anything to do along with the people with the, uh uh, with chopsticks or anything. No, nobody was going to them restaurants over them two years, man, of that pandemic when it was, especially when it was real strong. And then, you know, the restaurants, they, the restaurant business kind of went under anyway, because they had to close up a lot of places. And then they made those rules and regulations as to, how many people can come in? How you're going to see them? The only people that really came up and, and they kind of, you know, kept their they thing moving was people with drive throughs And no Chinese food restaurants got no drive throughs And, you know, they got like Chinese buffets, you know, where you can, you know, they, I'm talking about like huge fucking buffets. These huge Chinese food restaurants, they went under. And then it was just like, <laughs> you know, because so-called white people, they eat Chinese food too. They don't eat that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Because they're in their neighborhoods as well, but really they get their money off Jake. And these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American neighborhoods, especially amongst the so-called blacks, they go in there, man, and eat all that shit. Crab, rugan, you name it. You, hey, you name it. You don't know what the hell you eating. But this right here, it just shows you that these people, they need a ruler, man. They need a righteous ruler. They're not going to be eating no goddamn cat, rat, dog, and bat, man, in the, in the kingdom, man. So, <laughs> look at that, man. I mean, that's just common sense, but I mean, but you, come on, man. See, you see, the average, so, <laughs> the average so-called black person, they're not, they're not gonna have in their mind like that motherfucker look tasty. I think we gonna no, we gonna cut him up and we gonna suck. It tastes everything. It tastes just like chicken. But you know what? Jake eat a whole bunch of abominable shit. You might as well be eating some damn cat. If you eating shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, you might as well. You ain't no different. Really, in reality, because those things are abominable, too. The Lord said, don't touch those things as well. But Jake will have all that shit in some gumbo. Octopus, stingray, frog legs. You name it. Everything in there. Snails, oysters. <laughs> so, really, in reality, a lot of our people, man, they might as well be eating that. They, they ain't no damn different. They can't, they can't say nothing. They, it's nothing they can say. When it straight comes down to it, if they're actually eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and all these other things, man. So, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep. We're living in these last days, and we, and we're 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 warning the flock, man. The Lord is 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 <laughs> he's telling you what's up, man. He's he's telling you what's up through the men, his men out here on these highways and byways, man. We going back to the original way of living, man. Our own culture, you know. Stay the hell away from these fast food restaurants that's killing you at. You're all this mystery meat and all this. You don't know what the hell you eating. The damn bread, not even bread. The cheese is not even cheese. You know, here you go. You can uh, lose a cheeseburger under your car seat. And next year, the damn cheeseburger still look the same. The fries still look the same. It don't decompose. And, and our people eat that stuff on a regular basis. Some people eat it every day. Like I got an uncle, he he never could. He, this mother could eat from a, a fast food restaurant every day. He has never gone into a kitchen in his life and cooked nothing. Only thing he's using is the microwave to warm up some fast food that may have got cold on him. That's it, <laughs> straight up. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this, you know. Hey, we're going into the Shabbat, you know. Hey, all praises to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. Just you know, let's let's continue on. Moving in this in this fight, man. Let's continue on moving towards this finish line.
Okay, so with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashalo.